Hi, I'm Bex from Social Media Executive and today I'm going to show you how to use the video conferencing tool Zoom and fortunately for you guys I've got some lovely volunteers who have agreed to help me out today. So Sam, do you want to introduce yourself? Yep. Hi, my name is Sam Blakely. I'm the Creative Director of Mad Marketing, which is a creative and digital agency working with SMEs and new business startups. Thank you. Tony? Uh, hi, I'm Tony from F11 Photography. Uh, I'd like to use Zoom to do some uh, sort of tutorials on Photoshop and uh, Lightroom and photography. So that's why I'm here. Right. Louise? Hi, my name's Louise Pode and I'm from ProAbility and I'm a coach, so I'm about developing people in the business and with a real focus around managing anxiety and stress, which is obviously paramount at the moment. So I want to use Zoom really to do some group coaching. So really interested to find out more. Okay, Jill? Hi, I'm Jill Marr from Cheshire Connect and I work with charities to help them become more sustainable. Okay, um, George? Hello, my name is George Haynes. I'm a project manager for Spiral. Uh, we specialise in market research, both quantitative and qualitative. And uh, we're trying to survive uh, whilst all being out of the office using social tools such as Zoom. Such as Zoom. Yeah, so we just thought it'd be a really good opportunity to teach you guys who are watching how to use Zoom. I'm going to show you all the tools, how to set up a meeting, how to host a meeting and how to use all the tools as a host in Zoom. So this is going to teach you all about it. So this is the Zoom screen that you will see once you're all in a video call. But what I'm going to show you now is going to come out of this and, and show you how to set up Zoom. So the thing in Zoom is that you can share your screen to your delegates. So I'm just going to share my screen to everyone on my Zoom call and show you how to set up a Zoom meeting. Okay, so we just click here, whichever screen you want to share, we click this one and then we click this button at the bottom right that says share. So you can choose whatever screen you want to share if you've got multiple screens. Okay, so here I'm just going to click into Zoom. So this is the Zoom screen. I'm just going to move these guys out of the way. And um, here you can join a meeting. And again, I've done another video tutorial on how to join a meeting. Here's the link above. So um, we're not going to run through joining a meeting today. But today I am going to run through how you host a meeting. Now, there are two ways that you can host a meeting on Zoom. One is you can host a meeting immediately by clicking host a meeting with video on. Now, I'm not going to do that now because um, I've already, I'm, we're already in a meeting. So, um, but you just click, click that, host a meeting with video on, and then you can invite people once you're in your meeting, which I will show you at a bit later stage how to do it. The other way is you can actually schedule a number of meetings. Now, Zoom is free, um, but if you want to be a host of a meeting, you need to set up an account. If you want to invite delegates to a meeting, they don't need an account. They will just need your meeting number. So here in Zoom, I have an account. I'm just going to click here onto my account. And this is going to bring up my account details. So this is me with my um, unique personal ID that I can use for meeting and all my details there. Now, in order to schedule a meeting and invite people to this video conferencing meeting, we click here where it says meetings. Now this is basically, this shows you a number of meetings I've got scheduled. The one at the top is the one we're in now, the Zoom tutorial. But to schedule a new meeting, you simply click this button here, schedule a meeting. Right, so here we've got my screen. And again, it's worth noting that if you are using Zoom, Chrome is the best web browser to use um, rather than anything like Firefox or anything like that. Chrome works really well with, with Zoom. So all we do here when we click into our meetings is we click your topic. So you can type in whatever the meeting's about, Zoom tutorial or whatever you want it to do. And this is going to tell your delegates, once you've invited them, what the meeting is about. 
You can put a description in here as well if you want more details. If you've got an agenda or anything like that, you can type it in the description box. I'm not going to do that today. You then select the date that you want your meeting. The calendar might pop up. So you select the day and then you select the time here that you want that meeting to take place and how long you want that meeting to last. Now, don't worry about the duration. Sometimes you might have a meeting and it goes over two hours or it goes over whatever. Uh, Zoom will not cut you off. So you're not limited to that time. You can still carry on. It's more just for the information for your delegates. Now, make sure you're in the right time zone. And if it's a recurring meeting, so if it's every week, you can literally just click this button and it will give you login details for all your delegates for each week rather than you have to do it each week. OK. Um, and then I'm going to click generate here, generate the meeting ID automatically. So delegates will need this meeting ID in order to join your meeting. There is a personal ID meeting here, which you can share with people. But what you need to realize is that if you always use your personal ID, then people can join your meeting at any point in time and potentially other people can join your meeting. So I always tend to generate a new meeting ID for every meeting rather than share my personal meeting ID. You can set a password to join meetings, but again, I'm not going to do this on this occasion. You select whether you want people to join as a host or a participant with video on or off. Again, I always agree. I always encourage people to do it with video on because it's good to um, good to see people's faces, particularly when we're all trapped at home at the moment. Your audio, again, allow people to join from telephone audio or computer audio. Some people may be joining from their mobiles, but today I'm just showing you how it works on a PC. Now, your meeting options, you can click whether you want people to be able to join the meeting before you appear. Or you can ask whether you want to mute participants upon entry. So when they join the meeting, they are muted until you speak. You can enable a waiting room. And again, if you particularly if it's a quite a formal meeting and maybe you've not met people before, then you might want to. No, you, you might want to put them into a waiting room so that you invite them to the meeting when you are ready, which is a good a good option. I tend to let people join before the host, so it means as they join, they can have a chat with each other if they're waiting for me. But it's entirely up to you. OK, you can also click here. The beauty about Zoom is you can record all your meetings. And if you check this box, it will automatically record the meeting from the very start. I am going to show you once we jump into Zoom how to record it manually, because sometimes you don't want to record all the beginning bit and the introductions. You can sign someone else to be a host who has control of your meeting, who can help control it. And you just type in their email address there. So when you've selected all the settings for your meeting, you just click save for this button here. OK, so what this is going to do, it's going to then create a meeting URL, so a unique number for your meeting. And you can click on here, copy the invitation. And you can literally just copy all this information and then email it to your delegates. So all your delegates <coughs> need they don't need a Zoom account. All they need is this URL here. Or they can join with the meeting ID in Zoom. So it gives them two options. You will notice that the meeting ID here is the same as the end of this URL, this link here. So it's the same number. So again, all you do is you just copy this information and email it to all your delegates. And that is all the, the information they need to join that meeting. This bit in the underneath relates to a lot of dialing from your mobile from America. So again, 
I've always found all you need really is this top bit of detail to send to your delegates. Okay. So once you've got that information, you've emailed it to your delegates. If you go back into your meetings here, so here we, you will have, this is what I've just scheduled the Zoom tutorial here with that meeting code that we just saw. And then all you need to do is click start and that will start the meeting. Now I'm not gonna click start because I'm already in a Zoom meeting with everyone. Um, but that's going to take you into the Zoom meeting. Now, something that you need to be aware of is that Zoom is free to use for up to three people for 40 minutes. However, if you do have a number of people that you want to join for over an hour or up to 24 hours, then you do need to, to pay um, a monthly price. So for example, here on Zoom are the different pricing options. So free, which most people need. Again, this is just if you want to host a meeting. It's free to, for your delegates at whatever level. It's completely free. But you can have up to 100 participants for 40 minutes. So if you're wanting to go over 40 minutes, then um, with more than, with, with, with a number of people, then you may have to upgrade to 11.99 a month for your small teams um, because you only have a 40 minute limit on group meetings. But if you're just looking at one to one meetings, it's completely free and you don't need to uh, for, for, for however long you want. Also, just something to know is I tend to dip in and dip out. Some months I will pay this and some months I won't. It's really easy to stop this monthly fee and then switch it back on as you want. You're not tied into an annual charge as it were. Okay. So this is your sort of pricing and you can get, you can pay more to get even more different features if you want 300 participants. Okay. So that's where that is. Okay. So then just to go back to my um, account, we'll just click back one. And click off of it. So we're just going to assume now that I'm going to start my meeting. I've emailed this meeting ID to everybody. I'm just going to click start and that is going to now bring me into our Zoom screen. So this is what once you click start and you join it you will see ev everybody here. They will generally be sat along the top here and as people appear their names will pop up and they will join your Zoom meeting. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to talk you through some of the features once you're in your Zoom meeting and what exactly you can do. So there are a number of uh, different views that you can do. To the top right here it says gallery view. So I can click on and change the way my screen shows everybody. So if I click on gallery view it shows us in all nice even pictures here. Or we can go on to speaker view, click back up onto the top right, and it shows me as the main speaker with everybody else above. So again, you can change the layout of where, what Zoom looks like. Now, along the bottom here, on the bottom left, you've got where it says you've got your mute button. Here you can mute yourself. You can also select whatever microphones you want to use. If it's a computer microphone, if you've got one in there, you've also got all your audio settings here. So if you ever have a problem with sound, that's where you generally go and play with that to sort that out. The other one is your video here. So again, you can select which cameras you want to use if you have more than one and your video settings here. You can also choose a virtual background. So you might have seen people on Zoom. Um, I haven't got any in here, but particularly if you're on your phone, you can get a nice background of you being on the beach <laughs> if you want to. So uh, yes, as we're all stuck at home, sometimes you might want a nice background that pretends we're somewhere else. Oh, and there we go. Tony's uh, now on the back on the beach <laughs> as an <laughs> example. Okay, so that's quite a fun way to do. Now, if you've don't join, join your Zoom meeting and you realise you've got people missing, 
you can simply click this invite button and it will go to your email and it will automatically download the your email and input the meeting details into your email and you can email it to any delegates that might be missing. So as you can see here, it will po it populates all the information and I can just type in who I want to send that to. So it's just a really quick way of inviting delegates to meetings using this button if you, if you realise someone's missing. Your six participants here, it's telling me who they are and I can manage these participants here. So when I click this, this drop down box to the right appears here. Now I can, for example, if I wanted to, I could mute, so if George had some load of background noise, I can literally mute him. And that here will show a little microphone with a cross saying that George, if he tries to speak, none of us are gonna hear us. You can see Louise as well has muted her microphone. Your own delegates can mute themselves as well if they have any background noise. So I'll just unmute George here. The other thing that we can do as well is I can stop anyone's video at any point in time. So I'm going to click on Tony and can click on stop video and he will disappear. <laughs> Tony's disappeared as you can see. Now I can then click on ask him to start his video again and he will come back again. There he is. Hi Tony. <laughs> Um, so these are just some great settings here and how you can manage some of these. If you have to leave the meeting and you need somebody else to help you manage it, you can also make a host. So I can invite someone else to be a host here or allow them to record this session as well. So that's a re really good way of managing your delegates, particularly if you've got a large group that's quite noisy. <coughs> The other thing then that you can do that we did earlier was sharing my screen. So by clicking this green share screen button here, again, like I did earlier, I can click whatever screen I want to share and I can show my delegates what is on my computer screen, which is a really useful tool. And to stop that sharing button, if you hover over, I'm on another screen at the moment, there's just a little red button that just says stop share. And you would just click that to stop share and come back to this screen. Now, what you can do as well is your delegates can also share their screens. So um, if you're in Zoom at the bottom, there is a green screen there and they can share their screen with everybody in your meeting as well, which is a great feature. Along next to that is the chat button. So if we click on the chat here, here at the, on to the right is um, a little chat button and it's just like, like what, you know, messaging and chatting. So I can down here, so everybody, I can send a message to everybody and just say hello. And that will go to everyone. So it'll pop up in their Zoom and it will say hello. They can then chat back and respond and say hello back. So Sam said hi. Tony's. Tony said hi. Hi, Beth, everyone. <laughs> now then. The beauty about this chat screen as well is that actually you can send messages individually to people in the group. So here where it says to everyone, if you click down this little arrow here, I can just send a message to George. And I can just say hello to George. Nobody else will get that message, only George will. And here you can see in brackets, it says privately. So I know that message is just going to George. Oh, Sam's just sent me a private message. Thank you, Sam. It says hi, Bex. So she's just sent that to me. Nobody else can see that. So again, a great way. The messaging messaging is really, really good if you've, you're running large sort of webinars or anything like that and, and you've muted everyone and you just want to use the chat. Or also if people have joined Zoom and they can't get their audio working, it's really good to use the chat there. So that's the great chat feature. The other one as well is you can record, you can click record onto as onto 
Zoom as well. You can, we can record this whole meeting. If you click record, it will basically record it on this computer or onto the cloud. Now, I would suggest you always do it onto your computer. It's a bit easier to find. Uh, I'm not going to click record because I'm always already recording in another piece of software for this tutorial. OK, the other area that we can do is breakout rooms. So this is really good. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my delegates into some breakout rooms. What breakout rooms are, are putting people into little groups. So if you're running workshops, for example, you might have a particular exercise that you want people to do and you can split them into groups to talk about it. So I'm just going to show you how this works. We just click here to break out rooms. And I, here it will come up. I sign up my five participants into, I'm going to sign them into two breakout rooms. But you can do as many as you want. You just use these arrows, up and down arrows, to assign the number of rooms. I am um, now we can all do automatically. So Zoom will just automatically break them into groups, or can do them manually. So I'm going to click manually and I'm going to create my room. So now into breakout rooms, I can name it or I, and I can just assign. So I'm going to put George, Jill and Louise into a breakout room. I'm then going to assign Sam and Tony into another breakout room. And then I'm just going to click open all rooms. So now they're going to be invited to join these breakout rooms. And I'm going to see them in there. So I'll see you in your breakout rooms in a minute, guys. I'll do this. So now they are going to accept these breakout rooms. You'll see them disappearing as they join their breakout rooms. Now they can't hear me now because I'm not in their breakout rooms. So they can't hear me at the moment. And I can't hear them. So what we're going to do is I'm going to join my breakout room one. So I can jump in and out as a host. I can jump in and out of these breakout rooms. So I'm going to click join into this breakout room. I'm just going to join these breakouts. Okay. Hi. Hello. I've joined your breakout room. Hi there. How are you doing? So this is the breakout room. And um, so you guys can chat in amongst yourselves and then you just need to, at the bottom, if you hover over the bottom, it will click leave breakout room. And once you click that, you will go back into the main group. But you can have your little conversation again, it's just private. So I'm gonna leave your breakout room and go and join the other breakout room. <clears throat> I'm gonna click return to main session. Don't click leave meeting, cause you'll leave your Zoom meeting. It's return to the main session. I'm just going to join the other breakout room. The type of writing that I need. Hello. Yeah. So. Hello. Hello. I've just joined your breakout room. My uh, video is frozen. Um, I'm just trying to, but I've joined, now I've joined your breakout room. So all we need to do now when you come out, so it's just you guys having a nice chat to leave your breakout room. Um, bottom right hand corner is it? Yeah, bottom right hand corner and we can join that and come back into the main room. Okay. Okay. And click return to main session. Just does at the moment. Just does. I think she must have come to our room first. Yeah. No. No, I came to your room second. So oh, we're in the breakout room. <laughs> Let me find them. I will go and ta bring them back into the meeting. The lost in Zoom land. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just join their breakout meeting. So we can just jump in and out of people's meetings and bring them back in. And as a host, you're the only one that can jump between breakout meetings. And Hi. Louise and you. Yeah, Hi, no, guys. No, the same. Three uni students have just Do you want to, um, um, could I ask you to just come back into the breakout room? Is that okay? okay. Can so if you certain. click bottom right and just click leave breakout room. There. I'll return to main session. So this will bring everybody back. Right, so we just, if we click this little image here, this should show us 
where we've got everyone back again into the main room. So that's how you do breakout rooms. Now the other useful thing on Zoom, the other little thing I want to show you is, see Tony is the spotlight video, so I can click as the spotlight video and it will be Tony. Now if I wanted it to be Jill, I just click here for spotlight video and it will be Jill. So again, at any point in time, you can click between who you want to be on the spotlight video. But that is basically how you use Zoom. Right, so thanks for watching this video, guys. If you found it useful, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel where I regularly share tips and advice on social media. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this useful. Thanks, bye.